Running Minecraft on Gen 2 has never been easier, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do it on Gen 2. Uh, this method is very easy, uh, it's also very fast, so you can get it up and running within minutes, and on top of that, it's also very versatile. You'll be able to run vanilla Minecraft, you'll be able to run mods and mod packs from CurseForge and so on and so forth. Uh, you'll be literally able to run anything uh, with this one. So uh, I'm going to get started straight away. So the first thing that we need to do is to install OpenJDK. Uh, you don't really have to install OpenJDK. You can simply set up uh, a Java runtime environment. But if you want to create custom mods uh, and code in Java, generally speaking, you'll need OpenJDK. So that's the first thing that I'm going to install. And you can see that there are multiple versions to choose from. I'm going to go with OpenJDK 8 because uh, Minecraft targets Java 8. If you're going to download OpenJDK 17 or 11, chances are that you won't be able to run Minecraft at all because it's just simply not going to be compatible. So make sure that you download OpenJDK 8. After successfully installing OpenJDK 8 through Portage, uh, we are going to run eSelect. I'm probably going to set it on full screen so you can see it better. Uh, I'm going to run eSelect java-vm list. This will give me a list of Java virtual machines on my system. And you can see that I have two versions. I have the OpenJDK 17 and I also have OpenJDK 8. But OpenJDK 17 is selected as my system default and as user default. And that's a problem. Uh, if you want to run Minecraft, right? So I'm going to run eselect java-vm set one. And I'm going to run the list command again. And you can see that for this user, the default virtual machine is OpenJDK 8. And that's exactly what I want. After this step, we're done with configuring Java. And now it's time to install some additional tools. So the first thing, the first additional tool that we want to install is xrender. And xrender is, to be honest, not mandatory. Uh, I have been able to run mod packs without it, but there are some mod packs that require xrender for some reason, even if you're running Wayland. So make sure to install it. Uh, as far as I'm aware, Minecraft doesn't run natively on Wayland yet, uh, unless you're on Fedora or something like that. So make sure that you install xrender so you'll have a flawless experience. After successfully installing xrender, now is finally time to install our Minecraft launcher. And when it comes to launchers, there is an absolutely crazy amount of options to choose from. Uh, this website, Texture, uh, that I found <laughs> gives us 21 options to choose from. That's absolutely crazy. Obviously not all of them are going to run on Linux, but you can choose and pick the one that will fit you the most. The default Minecraft launcher will definitely run on Linux. Uh, the ATL launcher, I don't really know. I've never tried it. Multi-MC will definitely run on Linux as well. Uh, and I'm personally going to go with Prism launcher. My personal choice is Prism launcher simply because it's pretty good and it's available on on Portage. I don't really know if it's part of a specific overlay or if it's part of the official Gen2 repository, but you can download it through Portage, so it's very easy and simple to maintain. The only thing that we need to take care of when it comes to the Prism launcher is to make sure that uh, it's unmasked uh, because it's masked by default by AMD64 keyword. So just make sure that you create a file um, somewhere in the package.accept keywords directory and make sure that you unmask this package by allowing the AMD64 keyword for the Prism launcher. And once we're done with that, we can simply run Minecraft. You know, you can just run Prism launcher. And as you can see, uh, in my case, I've already installed Space Astronomy and Minecraft 1.12.2 and so on and so forth. And you can just run it. You can literally just run it. Uh, you obviously have to log in to your uh, Microsoft account in order to do so. But you can see that it runs just fine. And I can, I can play and I can do whatever the hell I want. 